Do you wish there was a simple, easy method to create winning designs for your online t-shirt apparel or print on demand store? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. And it's the same method I've been using for multiple years in my stores and the same method that my students are using to have success with their designs in their stores. That's coming up. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We have a treat for you today. If we don't know each other, my name's Carrie, and I created this channel to bring you the best strategies, secrets, and hacks. I hope your 2021 is going great. I hope you're having an incredible year already. Today, I've got a treat for you because I'm going to take you inside our recent Launch Your Brand Challenge. We had about 4,200 people register for this week-long event, and we do these events every few months or so. We're planning to do at least about four of these this year, and they're always just incredible. So I'm going to take you inside day two for a quick clip about our formula to create winning designs for your online t-shirt store, apparel store, print on demand. It's the exact formula I've been using for multiple years that I've kind of perfected. And it's the same formula that I teach to our students for them to come up with designs and actually make designs that will sell and make you money. So I'm super excited. Let's jump into the clip. So the formula for a winning design, number one, find a popular design. And I want you to consider where your who shops and what's trending. Let me explain that. Yesterday, we broke down, we talked a lot about your ideal customer and who you actually wanna serve with this, okay? And there's th all this is connected, right? Yesterday, I knew I was gonna talk about this. I'm leading you right here. So hopefully, you actually did the challenge yesterday and you have a pretty clear understanding of who you wanna target, who you, want, you actually wanna sell your shirts to. So I want you to consider where that person shops. The people that you want to buy your t-shirts in your niche that you have picked, where do they shop? What stores do they shop at? What websites do they shop at? Where do they normally get their clothing, okay? And what is trending on those websites and on those stores? And don't worry, we're gonna have some real kind of real world here, I'll show you how to do this. So where do they shop and what is trending? Okay, like the gap. Now the gap serves a certain age demographic, certain type of people. So if your audience is likely to shop at the gap, you might want to pull up the gap's website and you might want to start looking through their t-shirts and you might want to find, you know, you can sort these by usually you can sort by like best sellers, right? Or what's trending and you can see what's actually selling right now. It's, I know it's really simple, but this is how I've done it for years and this is how our students are doing it. At Forever 21, does your who shop at Forever 21? You can go out here, you can find kind of what's working right now. This is Etsy. Etsy is a great place because Etsy really caters to what we're talking about. Like they have uh, simple designs, number one, very simple t-shirts, and they have um, a lot of really interesting quotes and interesting things like that. So you can go out to Etsy and see what designs are trending on Etsy, okay? Again, Amazon, another great place, Amazon, where you can go see what's selling on Amazon. Amazon is the biggest online business in the entire world. So let's use their database to our advantage, okay? We even have, inside of our Shirt School program, we have the Shirt School T-Shirt Idea Bank. So what we do is we go out and we pull hundreds and hundreds of designs from all these different websites, Amazons and the Etsy's and the Teespring's and all these kind of stuff. We load them up for you so you can go into the Shirt School T-Shirt Idea Bank and find, uh, find designs that are working right now that are actually selling, and then you can model those for your own. Now again, this isn't a tool for you to copy, but it is a tool for you to see what kind of designs work and what can be on a shirt, what are the possibilities, and do some similar things for yourself. Take some elements from those. So that's a tool that we have. Number two, so that's number one, you locate a, a popular design. Just one, locate a popular design. Number two, you need to figure out how you wanna change up the ingredients for your niche. So let me give you an example. If you go out and you find a cat shirt that is about cats for cat lovers, and it's really funny or it causes that emotion and it meets all the requirements and it's selling right now, how could you take that design and do something similar in the dog niche, right? If you're in the dog niche, you could take the cat design, you could do something similar in the dog niche. 
similar thing, similar similar principles apply across. It doesn't have to be even a related niche. You know, if you found something that was a Christian T-shirt and it was selling really well, and you're over here in the fitness fitness niche, you can take that Christian design and then figure out if you could keep the framework of that and change it up a little bit for the fitness niche. Right? It's all about finding something that's selling right now seeing what kind of elements that you kind of lay out and color scheme, those kind of things, and then taking them over and figuring out how you could change up the words, how you could change up the font maybe a little bit, but keeping kind of a similar idea and maybe change up, you know, um, the picture on there if there's a picture. So change up the ingredients for your niche. Next, you're going to submit that the changes that you have, the text or the, the changes and the design, the original design over to Fiverr is, as an option. Or you can design these yourself. And I'm going to go into some tools and some recommendations on how to do this. So number three, so number one, find a popular design. Number two, change up those ingredients for your specific niche. Number three, submit the changes and the original to, to, some, to a designer on Fiverr. Or go ahead and design those yourself. Let's talk about how to do this. So let's talk about Fiverr just a little bit. Fiverr is an online marketplace where you can go and find designers to actually design things for you. And there, it does a bunch of other stuff, but specifically you can find designers to design t-shirts for you. And it's extremely inexpensive. Uh, it's five to $15 max. And that's the range that I would recommend that if you're using Fiverr, I would not spend more than $15 per design, but you can definitely, you can find quality, quality designs for as little as $5, super cheap. So you, when you go to Fiverr, you want to find a designer. You want to make sure it meets the, the price range. You want to submit the photo of the original shirt, right? You found a trending shirt online. And then you want to be really specific about text or changes that you want on that design. So when you're using Fiverr, you want to be very, very specific. Now on Fiverr, what's great about it is you can get designs back, like designs created in sometimes as little as a few hours. Most cases, it's about 24 hours to get designs back. Hey, just wanted to pop in real quick. If you're enjoying this video, would you do me just a huge favor? Just hit that like button, please. And also consider subscribing to the channel. We put out new videos every single Tuesday and we've got some really great content planned uh, here in the very near future, in the next few weeks. So consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's jump back into the clip. And I, I wanna take a second, I, I may have more information about this in my slides, but this is a huge time saver. Guys, I know from experience starting out with these online apparel businesses and t-shirt businesses, designing is, is something that takes more time than almost anything else that I could possibly do outside of if I was printing shirts myself and all that kind of stuff. It takes a ton of time. And I want you to understand that time is your most valuable resource. Time is the most valuable resource. Think about what your time is worth. And I want to I want to encourage you as a as a business owner, your time is worth a lot more than if you're working an hourly job. Okay, it's worth a lot of money. So this method of going out to Fiverr, first of all, it's worked great for me. It's working great for our students, but it saves you a ton of time and time equals money. It does. And that money equals impact, right? You can impact the more money you make, make more impact. Okay, so be specific Use when using Fiverr. So I've created a link for you. Now we've got a lot more content, but I wanna show you this. I've created a link for you, shirtschool.com slash Fiverr. Now this is an affiliate link, but what I've done is I've created a, it's called a deep link. And what that link will do when you go over to shirtschool.com slash Fiverr is it will automatically filter uh, the, the results. So when you click on that, you're actually gonna see here uh, Caitlin, if you can drop that in the uh, comments in the chat, that'd be great. Shirtschool.com slash Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. So that will take you here. And I've already actually filtered this down for you. Number one, I filtered it down to t-shirt design. And number two, I have filtered down the budget to five to $20. We can actually, you can change it to 15 if you want. Five to $20. And it's sorted by best selling. So you can go through here. And you can find a designer again as little as five dollars we can even uh we should be able to sort this like low to high i believe there's a way to do that um but we can go through here okay we can go through here we can look so i created this link so you don't have to do all the searching and finding um there's some great designers in here but again the big thing here with fiverr is i want to make sure that you are very specific you want to be specific 
with the um, with the designer that you are working with. So again, s always submit the t-shirt that you want to model. You say, hey, here's a picture. I want it to look like this specific t-shirt. Okay, and then you let them know very specific about each change that you want. Say, hey, I want a similar font, but I want the words to say this exactly in this way. And I want a picture of blank. Maybe it's a cat. I want a cute cat on there. And anytime you want to change up the picture on the shirt, you want to make sure, uh, I would try to have a picture that's at least similar to what you actually want on that shirt, okay? So if you, if you, had, if you were modeling a shirt, but you wanted to put a cat on it, and you're like, I, you don't just say, I want to put a picture of a cat on there. Try to find a picture of a cat that's similar to what you have in your head when you submit this, okay? So I want to go a little bit deeper here on Fiverr. Again, if you just go over to shirtschool.com slash Fiverr, um, you, this will automatically filter for you. So we're looking through here. We want to find a designer that we like, right? So, you know, let's say that we like this one right here. I will do creative typography and custom t-shirt design. We're going to click on that and we're going to continue. Now, most of these are going to have a basic package and they might have more packages. So you do want to look here, do your research and see what's included uh, with that package. So for $5, we get one t-shirt, we get the source file, which is always want to make sure you have the source file because that, that way it becomes your design, right? You can use it however you want to sell. Um, we got high resolution. Obviously we want to make sure it's good quality. Uh, we don't really care about marketing tools, all that kind of stuff, but we do have commercial use. So for $5, we have a transparent t-shirt design with fast delivery that is ready to use. Now, another thing, make sure you look at reviews, right? This guy, this this guy has 4,372 reviews. So we go, we can go through here and look at his reviews and make sure that this is gonna be a good investment for you. And he's got different packages. He's got a $10 package, which is great. You get two t-shirts with that. Um, you know, so you can do whatever package you want. That's fine. Just make sure. So we look here, we got over 4,000 five-star reviews. We've got 149, Four star reviews. And we got very little bad, uh, bad feedback. So we want to read through these, make sure. So then we're going to continue for five bucks, right? And we continue to check out. Now, once you pay for this, there's a service fee, two twenty five. So it comes out to seven dollars and twenty five cents. Your delivery time here is one day. Once you pay seven dollars and twenty five cents for this, after you complete the checkout, you're going to have an option to submit your requirements. So that is where you actually want to attach the picture of the shirt that you want to model, right? And you want to submit the text with all the changes that you want on that t-shirt. And in a 24 hours or less, you're going to have a t-shirt designed back. And most of the time, uh, you so this guy's got unlimited revisions. So if you have any changes, you can go back and have him do changes for you. So it's I incredibly inexpensive, incredibly inexpensive, very, very simple. And this is one of the, one of the ways that I would recommend uh, that you get your t-shirt designs done. And when you find a designer on Fiverr that you really like, go back to them, right? Stick with them. I wouldn't recommend using a bunch of different designers, but you may go through two or three different people on Fiverr before you find one that you really like. And the great thing about it is you're only out 15 bucks at that point. If you have to go through a couple designers, right? It's so inexpensive. And I want you to make, you know, I want to make sure you think about the return that's on that investment, right? When you take this formula I've given you, find a popular design, figure out how you want to change up those ingredients, submit it to Fiverr and get something similar done. Man, the, the, the potential for that for your sales is exponential. So when you talk about $5 for a t-shirt, you just make one sale and you've covered that, right? So shirtschool.com slash Fiverr. This is one great option that you guys can use to get designs done, save a ton of time. Let's keep going. So I want to show you how to also do it yourself, right? If you want to design yourself, and remember we said this formula is zero to $10. So this is on the zero side. If you want to spend $0 getting designs done, that is perfectly fine. And you guys can definitely do that. Okay. You guys can definitely do that. So I want to show you how to do it yourself. So let's say you're selling in the cat niche. I'm a, I, I don't even like cats, but I've been talking about cats a lot today. My wife hates cats like more than anyone I've ever known. Okay, so how do you do it yourself? Let's say you're in the cat, I don't know why, so I don't know why I'm doing cat stuff. Let's say you're in the cat niche. All right, and you go out to the internet and you find this t-shirt that says choose life, right? So we find this t-shirt that says choose life. We're like, man, that's a cool design. 
Um, it's selling really well, right? It meets all the requirements. It causes emotion. It's, it's selling really well and we want to model it. So just a few minutes later, it just takes a few minutes. We come up with the choose cat shirt, right? We got the choose cat shirt, upload this design, put it in our store, start selling it. So guys, what do we do here? And I'll show you some more. I'll show you some more. We're going to go a little bit deeper, but what do we do here? We found a design that's selling right now. That's, that's creating that emotion. But there's nothing copyright or trademark about this. It's a simple design. It's just text. So, you know, did we steal? Did we copy? No, we did not at all. We just took those elements, right? We said, well, we really like the black, the black text on a white shirt. We really like the font style, okay? And we really like the phrase of choose life. So how can we change this up for our own niche, right? There's nothing... Uh, trademarked or copywritten about this. Now, obviously, I want to make sure everybody here understands because some people don't. You never want to use logos. You never want to, you know, use the likeness of, of a celebrity, you know, things like that. You know, I, I get tons of questions about this. Just don't do it. Just don't, co just don't copy, don't steal, right? But it's definitely okay to model other designs that are working and take some of those elements. And this is what I've been doing for almost four years at this point and what our students are doing to have success. I'm, I'm giving you the exact formula. I hope you enjoyed this training today and the Launcher Brand Challenges are my favorite thing that we do here at Shirt School. They're so rewarding for everyone involved, especially myself, I, I, it's just amazing. And as you saw there in the video, um, I created a link for you to use on Fiverr. I've already filtered it down to five to $15 designers and only t-shirt design. So it's filtered down for you. So you don't have to do any of the searching and the work. So if you just go over to shirtschool.com slash Fiverr, you can go find a designer and start getting t-shirt designs done for five to 15 bucks, five to 20 bucks maximum. And I've already done all the legwork for you. So give that a look. That is an affiliate link. We would love you, love it. If you used it, we get a little bit of a kickback from that. And uh, so shirtschool.com slash Fiverr, go over there and check it out. We'll see you next week.